Hey, Todd here. Happy holidays. Hope everyone's having a great time getting ready for the new year. When I bought my um, Pavo Tube 15C, there was a special offer that came with it that you would get a free barn door and grid. It comes in this little bag right here. And I thought, you know, not doing anything this week. Haven't had a chance. Just got this thing in the mail a couple days ago. Uh, just before Christmas and haven't even op just opened it up out of the box haven't tried it yet so I thought hey come into the studio set up a little portrait thing use this uh, Pavo tube for my background light like I did um, when I shot these widening Kennedy ad agency wall photos back in the day we used to shoot thousands of them of every employee which were just great fun portraits to do. So we're going to set that up, but use LED lights today and not use strobe. But we're also going to look at a box, boxes, light boxes we used to make back in the day out of foam core and um, what I would use for a background light that I created then. Back then, not every soft box was available to every size you wanted, so you would build whatever you needed. And they work great, but this I think will work a lot quicker. And we're gonna see if it'll, uh, the barn doors will work. Cause with this thing on, without the barn doors, the spread is just too massive. Um, so it needs some sort of control uh, to keep it in the direction where I want and the look that I want for this background that I used to do before. So we're gonna, and I'll show some examples of some of these portraits, which were just a blast to do. Uh, but we'll see if this comes close to what I did uh, back in the day. All right, so let's get, um, let's start setting this thing up and see if this works because I haven't tried out this barn door thing and I'm anxious to do it. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at what comes in the bag here. Okay, we've got a couple mounting things here with the Velcro. And this looks like the grid that will go on there. That's nice. Put that over there. And undo this thing here. Velcro together. Okay. So what you want to do is, um, I believe, lay this guy flat like this and then mount these guys over here. There's a little area right here to set it into. And then you just wrap the Velcro around like that, get that on there. And then there's a couple little lines right here. It looks like you can put those onto like that and then wrap the Velcro around, wrap the Velcro around and you're good to go there. And then, and there's a little uh, hole right here and that you need to make sure you get lined up with this right here or you're not going to be able to see uh, your control settings on there so make sure this little guy right there lines up with this right here when you're putting this on and it should just drop right in like that and then the clamp pretty super simple clamps they just go on like this, just go over the top, push this on, clamp down, and get it turned right. I messed up that, so we'll mess, get that back down there. And we're clamped on like that. And then tip these guys up like that. And it looks like I can tighten these guys up a little bit more, stretch them out. There we go. Get that a little bit tighter, like that. 
and like that. That that looks a lot better. And then we've got a nice looking barn door, which nice control right there. You can see on the ground, that's nice. Can squeeze that in really tight. And we've got some really good control of what's happening. Okay, then if you wanna put on the grid, there's Velcro strips across the top here. Just line those up, whoops. Line those up with the Velcro you have right here. Just line that up, put that on, boom, boom, like that. Close this guy up. And do that on the other side as well. Line those guys up, like so, like so. So then you just grab these guys, whip it around, Velcro on the outside there, like that. Bring that around to the outside, to the outside Velcro. Then we've got our grid on there, which is really nice, nice and focused in like that, which looks super cool. And that, was really easy, really easy to assemble and super quick. The one thing I have I found, which I've got to go grab, which using this tube, I, I don't like this. I haven't found a great mount to way to hold this tube. And on the back of this, there's a slit right here so you can put this on and clamp it on and clamp it down so you can mount this thing. But I'm, I just don't love this two screw thing. I wish there was something on here um, or an adapter or something that was, cause this thing, sometimes when you have it in a C, C stand, a grip arm, this comes loose. So you have to kind of remember when you're mounting this thing up is that you need to mount this so it, the thing won't turn or twist on this and then come loose and then it's all loose like this. So I've yet to come up with a good fix for that. I haven't tried very hard to tell you the truth, but um, I, I don't love that mount. I wish there was a different mount to hold this thing. Um, I've just got to, I'll have to develop something better that I trust more. But then again, you can um, see when you turn this on that looking through here, you can see the, uh, your controls right there and what your settings are on that. So that's good right there. And now we just need to uh, set up the rest of the portrait setting now and get that dialed in and we'll see um, how this thing actually works if it works the way I want it to on the background and looks somewhat similar to the way I used to shoot these things. And I don't think I will uh, want to use the actual grid. I just want the barn doors. So I'll take this off when I do uh, use it on the background. I just want the barn doors on there just to uh, help control where that light goes. Oh, and let's set this aside. And when I used to shoot this thing with strobe, we, uh, this is aircraft grid that we used to buy in sheets, four by eight sheets of this and cut it down to the size we needed. And then we built these boxes, and this is really dusty because I haven't used it in years, um, but out of foam core and a bit of plex that we would use. And then you would buy these mounts. This was actually for Speedatron strobe unit and the mount was right there. So the strobe would mount right in there. And, uh, and then I've got on there what it needs to uh, 
I need a CTB on there to get it, uh, bring it down color temperature to more normal because it would be very warm with this piece of Plex on there. And, but this is what we used to make. And I used to make these at all different sizes and they were great. And then you hot glued them together and gaffer taped them. And over time you can see this is all just massive gaffer tape because the glue, hot glue would come off and it'd get really hot and these things would get really warm and it'd melt the glue and everything. But they work great for background lights. And this would, uh, I'll kind of show how this was set up uh, with the strobe when we start setting up the background. And then you would just tape on the front of this thing. You would just tape this grid on here and then it would grid it down really nice. Um, but it was a lot of work and to carry this thing with you on location, a no-go situation there. But um, that's why this is basically the same size as that. And holy cow, to travel with this, super easy. And with these little barn doors, again, quick, easy setup. So enough of that. Let's go, um, let's get this portrait setting set up and let's start taking some shots, see how this thing looks. So we're pretty much set up now for this uh, portrait setting, basically the way I led it before. Um, we've got our soft box here, and I would have used strobes in the past, but today we're doing with the uh, LEDs. We've got the Nanlite 300B here, and the Pavo tube back there with the barn doors on it on the background. And we have a small uh, floor stand here, small grip arm, and on the knuckle here, make sure you've got this tightened this way. So if this wants to tip, it's gonna tighten itself the way it is right there. So you wanna make sure you've got that set up like that and you're good to go there. And we've got our couple, um, um, our rolling flat there, which got set to black. So it's gonna not bounce any white. And then I've got this other rolling flat here which is blocking the light from hitting the background from our main source. So we're pretty much set up and um, we've got a stool where I will sit, obviously. And on the background, what we used to do before, what I used to do, the Speedatron head set up there and the box set up here, I even have a tape mark down here on the ground where I used to be, but you can see how warm it is and so now let's, um, we're gonna turn off the lights and the main lights in the studio and then we'll see what that, the difference is. So there we can see the glow of the background back there with the old box light with the strobe. Now we'll, uh, I should get into the light. So now we can see the, uh, the look of that how that appears but you know when you're shooting with strobe the model light not only not every time gives you what you're really going to see so you'd have to pop it off and see the brightness and all that kind of stuff so but now we'll put the uh the nan light back in there and see the difference see if i can get it to kind of feel like it did before so i'm going to switch that out now Okay, so I've got that back in. It's all set up. Feels about the same. I know it looks, the barn door looks a bit harsher than it does when you have the, uh, the old handmade, homemade box that I had in there, but I think it'll be just fine. So now let's take a quick look at some of the images I've shot before, and then we'll shoot a few and see how well uh, they match up. All right, so that was just a small sample of some of the fun portraits uh, I did for Widen Kennedy. 
and um, I wish we still did them. I wish they still did them because uh, they were just a blast to do and get pretty wild on a bunch of them. But anyway, that was a look at that. Now we're dialed in. I've got the uh, R5 set up. Uh, we're going to shoot with that today, capture these. I used to shoot them with the uh, GX680. Uh, this is the GX680 version 1. I would use my 3, which I don't have out here right now. But with a digital back, I had shot some with film, then switched to the digital back. But I originally started this thing with the Hasselblad 500C, 503C, yeah, and it, that's what I originally shot them all. Both these manual focus, and that was what I originally shot these on. But now we switch to digital and everything else. But let's... Uh, start uh, cameras connected to uh, Capture One uh, with the tether tool cable, so we're all connected. And I'll just fire away with my mouse since I'm connected, tethered in. And we'll take a few shots and see how this, uh, uh, the barn door on the Dan light back there is, is working and does it match what I did previously. So we gotta start uh, shooting some shots. So there we have it. Uh, there's some shots there coming in, pretty fun. Uh, the barn doors on this Pavo tube worked great. And it was able to make the uh, background match perfect and super simple to bring with me uh, on location. The only thing that kind of worries me a little bit about shooting with the LED, although I had the, the, the main Forza 300B way down in power, uh, to get the, the ratio I wanted for the background and the main light um, is that if I had a lot of movement, sometimes I want the movement, but if I had a lot of movement, I can't freeze it. But a positive is I can just motor drive the heck out of these things uh, in not, not having to wait for the strobe, which, you know, I can shoot really fast with the strobe too, but I mean, when you're just using the LED, you can just fire like mad. So that, that's a big positive to it. And a little bit of motion sometimes is not a big deal. So yeah, I, this barn door set that came with this thing surprisingly free when I you know, ordered this, bought this light and, and got that, I'm uh, super happy with it. It worked great. You know, I did a couple shots without the barn doors on there and you can definitely see the spillover, which I was able to totally control with the barn doors. And it, it, it worked great. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. And uh, that was fun. So till next time, I'm out.